has evolved more than any species in existence. But what if all our knowledge, all our accomplishments, and all our achievements could be learned in mere minutes? What if humanity's next evolution wasn't human at all? What happens when artificial intelligence becomes self-aware? Is it the key to immortality or is it the path towards annihilation? We discovered that while you were at MIT, you wrote a thesis called Lazarus, almost a precursor to the current scientific movement known as Singularity. Given that 15 years later you are creating a humanoid robot, do you still believe, like Dr. Kurzweil and many others, that mankind will someday evolve into, well, machines? Mr. Maxwell, something wrong? There are a lot of secrets down here in the dark. You make weapons for the government. No. I make intelligent machines. Machine. Open your eyes. It's incredible. It's conscious. Those machines are dangerous. This machine has the potential to be so much more than just a soldier. They're afraid of you. What are you looking for? Where are you going? I got my own. I got my own. She's deranged. I am working on a way to restore her. What are you really? I am part of the new world. And you are part of the old. I need your help. With what exactly? Winning the war. We can do this. Just come here every day and I'll train you. for the experimental military drone that escaped from an FBI evidence storage facility in Nevada 73 hours ago. Hailed as the next generation of unmanned drone technology, the project was shut down after the robotic soldier malfunctioned. A mistake that resulted in the deaths of all 18 employees of Accelerated Dynamics, including genius inventor Alex Maxwell and his family.
The reason I'm calling today is to express my disappointment that you have invited this highly sophisticated crackpot and given him a national forum to express his pseudo-religious uh, predictions that have no basis in objective reality. If you go back 500 years, not much happened in a century. Now a lot happens in six months. Technology feeds on itself and it gets faster and faster. It's going to continue in about 40 years. It's going to be moving so fast. The pace of change is going to be so astonishingly quick that you won't be able to follow it unless you enhance your own intelligence by merging with the intelligent technology we've created. This guy is freaky. He says computers will have consciousness in just 25 years. If you get to the 2030s, you're not going to be able to tell a clear difference between human and machine intelligence. The big question of life is, who are we? What are we going to become? What's the future like? And he's got one of the most incredible track records in history for his ability to predict with pretty darn good accuracy. He's an award-winning scientist and engineer, a millionaire several times over because of his inventions. These inventions may end up causing the worst war that humanity's ever had. Corporations and governments and societies will be created and destroyed on the back of the technology that this book describes. The world is flattening, the world that is globalizing. Inventor Ray Kurzweil thinks that one day humans may be able to live forever. I want to live as long as I can. I don't want to die. If following Ray's regimen would put that day off, I would be very willing to do that. I knew there was a reason I was keeping all this stuff, and he kept all this stuff. Uh, I do plan to bring back my father. God is who he is, and our challenge should be to know him, not try to create him. I'm afraid of you. Uh, it's going to scare a lot of people. The world is changing far too fast. Nothing like this has ever happened to homo sapiens before. These ideas are going to ultimately change the world. We didn't stay on the ground, we didn't stay on the planet, we didn't stay with the limitations of our biology. I think Ray is performing the service of our prophet. That's wrong. He has used the, the gift that he was given for the betterment of humankind. That's what I know. It will be the universe waking up. Mr. Theodore Twombly, welcome to the world's first artificially intelligent operating system. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Are you social or antisocial? I guess I haven't been social in a while. How would you describe your relationship with your mother? Oof, Thank you. Please wait as your operating system is initiated. Hello, I'm here. Hi. It's been a long time since I've been with somebody that I felt totally at ease with. What's it like to be alive in that room right now? I wish I could put my arms around you. I wish I could touch you. How would you touch me? That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let me handle this. That idea is just... The worst. To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! 